We are at Edmonton Global Talent Workshop today and uh, it is at Fancyland Hotel. It is organized by, uh, it is Eric and if I tell it correctly, it is Edmonton Region Immigrant Employment Council and we have with us uh, their director Doug Pickett and uh, they are busy right from morning over the show. So uh, Doug, I would like to ask you this workshop it has what aims and how many people are benefited? Well, uh, this year's conference, this being our third year running the Global Talent Conference, uh, sold out, had 185 people attend. Um, about 120 of those folks are uh, talented, uh, in, in, internationally talented uh, professionals from overseas, from all over the world. And basically they get an opportunity to meet with employers and have the opportunity to engage in, in other workshops that are going to help them sort of integrate uh, into Canadian society and then get a better understanding of the Canadian business culture here in, uh, in, in Edmonton specifically. Temporary services here in Canada and especially in Edmonton and a temporary is a person they might be filling in for someone an employee who maybe broke their leg skiing, maybe there's extra work, there's a project, they don't need to hire a full-time person, they just need someone for a few weeks. So you are providing interfacing with the employers and employees here? That's right. We're, we're trying to provide a space for both the employers and employees mm -hmm. to get a sense of some of the in, in, some of the issues that employees face when they come to a new country and some of the barriers that they they uh, um, in, encounter when they come to Canada, and uh, and then of course having some of uh, people who are have sort of successfully integrated into Canadian society and have them share some of those tips with uh, the employees. So since long this council is into existence? We've been around since 2008. Mm -hmm. um, we were first started and we're a business-led nonprofit. And uh, so basically we get a chance to sort of have business become part of the solution and, um, you know, attracting and retaining skilled employment from overseas. And as you know, most people are coming from different parts of the world and English is not their first language. Mm -hmm. Are you taking any actions to address that issue? Uh, no, because there are a number of organizations here in Edmonton that work on uh, basically language um, skills. So English is a second language or link programs. But we're mostly focused on the permanent resident that is, you know, basically that have some kind of certification or some kind of skill that they've already brought to Canada. And so when we consider clients for, for example, for an event like this, we look at what they call a Canadian language benchmark of seven. Mm -hmm. um, so basically their, their comprehension and understanding is fairly, you know, at a fairly high level. And so that they can maximize, you know, their, um, their engagement here at a session like this or in, 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 in a mentorship uh, relationship. So we also run a, a career mentorship program. And again, the Canadian language benchmark of seven is what we look for um, for potential candidates. And there are very many East Indians coming from India, from our nook and corner of the country. And how you outreach East Indians? Well, we you know we do it through a number of ways. We do it word of mouth. We also have a website. We also uh, use the normal medium. Um, media uh, channels as well um, and through brochures and outreach through uh, events and and uh, and vicariously through other organizations we try and partner up with them as well and and uh, use uh, that kind of relationship in order to promote our programs okay we are here to represent press council of Edmonton and we have uh, members from all communities and what you expect from press council of Edmonton well, um, we would look at uh, Press Council of Edmonton as being a, a partner and getting the voice out and getting uh, the the message out that Edmonton Region Immigrant Employment Council is here for the, that population as well uh, that you serve, and uh, that we would, you know, hopefully through your channels be able to broadcast to uh, people who might be interested in participating in our workshops and our, in our career mentorship program.